I got parts. I have 85% of the parts for this thing. I have every single piece except for one. I'm not going to let that one get in the way. It's like having one bad apple in a batch. It only takes one to screw up your taste buds. We're not gonna let that one bad apple get in the way today. Out of my entire endeavor so far, this will be the most difficult. I just gotta get this bearing out. Once I get that out, I just have to clean this up and then just reassembly. Now in today's vlog, I kind of wanted to give one of you an opportunity to like direct today's video and choose the direction of the vlog. So I posted on Twitter. I'll leave my Twitter in the comment section. And Joe M says, what got you into working on machines or what inspired you to film yourself before you got famous on YouTube? Joe, thank you for that suggestion. I'm going to do my best to stay on topic. Don't be upset if I veer off to the left or to the right. I just want to give you the information. So Dalton, 3D Machines, what got you interested in starting to make videos? Was it your idea? Were you looking up to somebody? What was it? Got the new bearing installed. It was the exact same thing that everybody does. I mean, there's only really two options. One, you look up to somebody and you start a YouTube channel, or two, you think it's a good idea and you make a YouTube channel. Mine was both. I looked up to somebody, his name was David. His YouTube channel was David's Farm. And this was way back in 2009, keep in mind. I think YouTube was invented or, or created in 2007. You will not be able to find his channel today. It has been deleted. It, it's been removed from YouTube. Let's just say he was in some legal trouble and he no longer was allowed on YouTube. This is already getting to be a good story. I've got the rear end moving in the right direction. Okay, Dalton, you looked up to David's farm. If he got kicked off of YouTube, how am I supposed to look up his videos and how am I supposed to know what he used to produce? Well, what he used to produce is something kind of what I do. Granted, he had 100 acres. I want to say he was 50 years old and he just loved to tinker with stuff just like me. And, and he was my role model. When I was 16 and 17 years old, I looked up to him. He was my superhero. And I have that man to thank for getting me to this point. Well, at least initiating my journey to, to get to this point. I'm just putting this rear end together. That's been sitting on the shelf for quite... It's, it's all hard. You guys know my format on my videos. I like to talk a little bit. I like to get some shots. I don't like to make anything too technical. I like to keep it very general so that people that have machines or don't have machines like dirt bikes, four-wheelers, go-karts, motorized scooters, anything of that nature, whether you have that stuff or not, you can still relate. Granted, if you learn something on the way, that's awesome, that's amazing. And that's why I like to do what I do. But at the end of the day, I'm here strictly for entertainment. Right here, I think I wanna put some RTV gasket maker on here so that this really seals once I put it on. Sounds like a good plan, right?
One one billion dollar idea I'm about to give to you came from my great grandmother Bertha. She was an amazing woman. She was on planet Earth for 96 years. She is no longer with us. Something she taught me, I'm about to teach you. She taught me, and she learned this through her life experience. She told me, Dalton, do what successful people do. So I listened to that idea, and I will follow that idea for the rest of my life. Saying that, I saw Dave being successful, having fun, and making money. I wanted to get on that bandwagon. Fortunately, I got in when I did. It took blood, sweat, and tears to get where I am today. The channel didn't blow up until about two and a half years ago. I've been here since 2009. The first couple years were difficult. I'm glad I stuck it out though. The only reason I did stick it out is because I truly wanted it. I truly wanted to put in the time and effort to do it. Now I'm in the same boat Dave was. I'm huge on YouTube. People are looking up to me because I'm their inspiration. I'm your inspiration to make a new YouTube channel. I wanna do what 3D Machines does. He does, he does fun stuff, he's entertaining. I love what he does. So you decide, yeah, I'm gonna make a YouTube channel too. And you start making a couple videos. And when you make a couple videos, you contact me and you say, Dalton, can you give me a shout out to help the channel progress? That's exactly what I did with Dave. I asked for a handout. I asked for a shout out. I asked somebody else to do the hard work for me. Don't make somebody else do the hard work for you. Put in the time and energy if you, stru if you truly want to do it. I did it, now I'm here. I am aware I have the sound wrong. I just have it like this so I can put some gasket maker on it. So I decided I was going to start making YouTube videos. So I started out using my mother's camera. I didn't have a cell phone back in the day and there were no iPhones back in the day. I had to use a crappy camera for like my first 15 videos or 20 videos or whatever. And then my cousin suggested that I buy a better quality camera. I'm like, and spend 200 bucks? <laughs> I'm getting ready to put the rear end assembly in. I'm like, are you crazy? YouTube's not even paying me right now. Back in the day when I started, YouTube wouldn't pay you. You had to get enough views and you had to have enough subscribers to get paid. So here I'm investing my time, my energy, my money, into something I'm not even getting paid for. Nowadays, if you started up a YouTube channel, you get paid, you start getting paid today. YouTube didn't have that luxury back then. Now it's easy. You get a cell phone, you create an account, just like that, you can start making videos. That's what brings me to my next subject. There are times when not very close friends ask me how my YouTube's going, and, and people that really don't follow me, but know that I was always interested in it. And I'm glad to tell them that I'm doing well. And then once in a while, I'll meet outsiders, people that have no idea who I am or, or what I put on YouTube. And, and usually YouTube comes up because that's what I like to talk about. And they say, yeah, I've always thought about making a YouTube channel. They ask me like my input because now they know a little bit more about me. And I usually tell everybody the same thing. I usually tell them, well, if I were in your shoes and with the knowledge that I have, I personally wouldn't waste my time making a YouTube channel today because in my opinion the market is flooded. There are too many providers and not enough consumers. That's just my opinion. Don't let me deter you from making a YouTube channel. That's just what I've observed. If I wasn't doing YouTube and I was in the same situation as I am now, if you offered me YouTube or if you didn't offer me YouTube, I would probably say I don't want YouTube. It probably sounds crazy from somebody who has like 540,000 subscribers. That's just how I feel. I ended up breaking one of my springs, not very surprising. It's rusty and crusty. But I do have all my seals installed, I do have all my parts cleaned up. As you know, I'm waiting on another part anyways, so I guess we can stop here. I'm not really going to go in depth into what I was producing when I was a small time YouTuber. You can go back and, and watch the old videos. Back in the day, that was the cat's meow. There was a lot of crazy stuff that happened. Just didn't film it in the right way, didn't tell the story correctly. Took a long time to get where I am. I think I had 500 videos back in the day when I hit 20,000 subscribers. I've deleted a lot of videos. I'd probably be up to about 1,200 videos if I didn't delete any. Takes a lot of work, but like I said, don't let me deter you from making a YouTube channel and making videos. All I'm saying is, financially, there are way bigger and better opportunities out there. So that's a little bit of my story. It all started with a half century old redneck. I like the same things as he did. 
I knew at that point that I wanted to do it. Wanted is kind of hard to say with my Invisalign. Next order of business. The scooter, the one that I just got done fixing, is now on eBay. The link will be in the comment section. Check it out. We've never done the eBay thing. I'd like to try it. So what I would like to know from you today are who are your favorite two YouTubers? Even if it's not me, it's, you're not going to offend me at all. And do you like watching YouTube videos or do you like making YouTube videos? I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until tomorrow, keep it fly. Uh -huh.